What is Google Gemini? Google Gemini is a family of multimodal artificial intelligence, AI, large language models that have capabilities in language, audio, code and video understanding. Gemini 1.0 was announced on December 6, 2023, and was built by Alphabet's Google DeepMind Business Unit, which is focused on advanced AI research and development. Google co-founder Sergey Brin is credited with helping develop the Gemini large language models, LLMs, alongside other Google staff. At its release, Gemini was the most advanced set of LLMs at Google, superseding the company's Pathways language model, Palm 2, which was released on May 10, 2023. As was the case with Palm 2, Gemini is integrated into multiple Google technologies providing generative AI capabilities. Among the most visible user-facing examples of Gemini in action is the Google Bard AI chatbot, which was previously powered by Palm 2. Gemini integrates natural language processing capabilities, providing the ability to understand and process language, which is used to comprehend input queries, as well as data. It also has image understanding and recognition capabilities that enable parsing of complex visuals, such as charts and figures, without the need for external optical character recognition OCR. Gemini also has broad multilingual capabilities, enabling translation tasks, as well as functionality across different languages. For example, Gemini is capable of mathematical reasoning and summarization in multiple languages. It can also generate captions for an image in different languages. Unlike prior models from Google, Gemini has native multimodality, meaning it's trained end-to-end -end on data sets spanning multiple data types. The multimodal nature of Gemini enables cross-modal reasoning abilities. That means Gemini can reason across a sequence of different input data types, including audio, images and text. For example, the Gemini models can understand handwritten notes, graphs and diagrams to solve complex problems. The Gemini architecture supports directly ingesting text, images, audio waveforms and video frames as interleaved sequences. At launch, Gemini was made up of a series of different model sizes, each designed for a specific set of use cases and deployment environments. The Ultra model is the top end and is designed for highly complex tasks. The Ultra model was not available at the same time as the initial Gemini launch, with Google targeting sometime in early 2024 for availability. The Pro model is designed for performance and deployment at scale. A version of Gemini Pro is used to power Google Bard. As of December 13, 2023, Google enabled access to Gemini Pro in Google Cloud Vertex AI and Google AI Studio. For code, a version of the Gemini Pro model is being used to power the Google Alpha Code 2 generative AI coding technology. The Nano model is targeted at on-device use cases. There are two different versions of Gemini Nano. Nano 1 is a 1.8 billion parameter model, while Nano 2 is a 3.25 billion parameter model. Among the places where Nano is being embedded is the Google Pixel 8 Pro smartphone. Across all the Gemini models, Google has claimed that it has followed responsible development practices, including extensive evaluation to help limit the risk of bias and potential harms. What can Gemini do? The Google Gemini models are capable of many tasks across multiple modalities, including text, image, audio and video understanding. The multimodal nature of Gemini also enables different modalities to be combined to understand and generate an output. Tasks that Gemini can do include the following. 1. Text summarization. 1. Gemini models can summarize content from different types of data. 2. Text generation. 2. Gemini can generate text based on a user prompt. 2. That text can also be driven by a queue and a type chatbot interface. 3. Text translation. 3. The Gemini models have broad multilingual capabilities, enabling translation and understanding of more than 100 languages. 4. Image understanding. 4. Gemini can pass complex visuals, such as charts, figures and diagrams, without external OCR tools. 4. It can be used for image captioning and visual Q&A capabilities. 5. Audio processing. 5. Gemini has support for speech recognition across more than 100 languages and audio translation tasks. 6. Video understanding. 6. Gemini can process and understand video clip frames to answer questions and generate descriptions. 7. Multimodal reasoning. 7. A key strength of Gemini is multimodal reasoning, where different types of data can be mixed for a prompt to generate an output. 8. Code analysis and generation. 8. Gemini can understand, explain and generate code in popular programming languages, including Python, Java, C++ and Go. How does Google Gemini work? Google Gemini works by first being trained on a massive corpus of data. 
After training, the model uses several neural network techniques to be able to understand content, answer questions, generate text and produce outputs. Specifically, the Gemini LLMs use a transformer model-based neural network architecture. The Gemini architecture has been enhanced to process lengthy contextual sequences across different data types, including text, audio and video. Google DeepMind made use of efficient attention mechanisms in the transformer decoder to help the models process long contexts, spanning different modalities. Gemini models were trained on diverse multimodal and multilingual data sets of text, images, audio and video with Google DeepMind using advanced data filtering to optimize training. As different Gemini models are deployed in support of specific Google services, there is a process of targeted fine-tuning that can be used to further optimize a model for a use case. During both the training and inference phases, Gemini benefits from the use of Google's latest TPUv5 chips, which are optimized custom AI accelerators designed to efficiently train and deploy large models. A key challenge for LLMs is the risk of bias and potentially toxic content. According to Google, Gemini underwent extensive safety testing and mitigation around risks such as bias and toxicity to help provide a degree of LLM safety. To help further ensure that Gemini works, the models were tested on academic benchmarks spanning language, image, audio, video and code domains. Gemini vs GPT-3 and GPT-4 Google Gemini is a direct competitor to the GPT-3 and GPT-4 models from OpenAI. Here are some key differences between the Google and OpenAI products. Asterisk Asterisk Gemini vs GPT-3 and GPT-4 A comparative overview Asterisk Asterisk when comparing the artificial intelligence models Gemini, developed by Google DeepMind, and GPT-3 and GPT-4, products of OpenAI, several key distinctions emerge. Asterisk Asterisk Developer, Asterisk Asterisk. Asterisk Gemini, Asterisk Developed by Google DeepMind. GPT-3 and GPT-4, Asterisk Developed by OpenAI. Asterisk Asterisk Chatbot Interface, Asterisk Asterisk. Asterisk Gemini, Asterisk Features Barred as its Chatbot Interface. GPT-3 and GPT-4, asterisk utilize chat GPT as the chatbot interface. Asterisk, asterisk modality, asterisk, asterisk. Asterisk Gemini, asterisk embraces a multimodal approach, trained on diverse data types, including text, images, audio, and video. GPT-3, asterisk originally built as a text-only language model, but GPT-4 introduces GPT-4V, enabling visual input. Asterisk, asterisk model variations, asterisk, asterisk. Asterisk Gemini, Asterisk offers size-based variations, including Ultra, Pro, and Nano, catering to specific use cases. GPT-3 and GPT-4, Asterisk feature optimizations for size, with variations like GPT-3.5 Turbo and GPT-4 Turbo. Asterisk Asterisk context window length, Asterisk Asterisk. Asterisk Gemini, Asterisk provides a context window length of 32,000 tokens. GPT-3 and GPT-4, Asterisk share the same context window length, also capped at 32,000 tokens. While both Gemini and the GPT series share a focus on multimodal capabilities, Gemini distinguishes itself with specific size-based variations. The context window length remains consistent between these models, indicating a shared constraint in terms of processing contextual information. The choice between these models may depend on specific use cases and preferences for features like modality and model variations. Applications that use Gemini Gemini was developed by Google as a foundation model and is widely integrated across various Google services. Gemini is also available for developers to use and build their own applications. Future of Gemini As part of the initial launch of Gemini on December 6, 2023, Google provided direction on the future of its next-generation LLMs. The biggest piece of Gemini's future is the Gemini Ultra model, which was not made available at the same time as Gemini Pro and Gemini Nano. At launch, Google said Gemini Ultra would be made available to select customers, developers, partners and experts for early experimentation and feedback before a full rollout to developers and enterprises in early 2024. Gemini Ultra will also be the foundation for what Google refers to as a Bard Advance experience, which will be an updated, more powerful and capable version of the Bard chatbot. The future of Gemini is also about a broader rollout and integrations across the Google portfolio. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more awesome content. Join me on this exciting journey.